Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Goalie in this one. It is Orbital Drill. We are against Roy, Val, Hank, Jack and Lennox. We're going to say the piece at the beginning of this. If you have noticed, my usual deadpan tones have been uh, manipulated by a cold. So I do apologise about the voice. Uh, we will do... Let's do Voodoo again. Very nice skin this. Um... Uh, excuse me, I... Just ignore that, it's fine. My finger was a bit too enthusiastic there. Uh, we'll do traversals and we'll get going. What I was about to say is that usually when we get Orbital Drill we uh, lock in the bog skin. <laughs> Very greenish map, but you know, that's what it is. Lo and behold, because we are goalie, a Jack is on this team. It is the Jack curse. Jack is basically a direct counter to goalie. Best trapper anyway. For uh, goalie, the ability to stop a monster dead in its tracks is something you actually need against goalie, because uh, he's actually the fastest monster in the game and doesn't actually care about uh, stasis-based effects, because it doesn't slow this leap down that you're seeing. So all this, all this. <laughs> so stasis has literally no effect on him, other than when he's walking like this. Usually, in a fight, he's never going to be doing much of that walking, so... Okay, I was about to say, does anything actually live on this planet? Uh, if this is your first video, welcome. Um, we are currently playing as the monster, obviously. Um, we're looking for wildlife to fill the blue evolved meter up. We are going to get move speed, which is actually very good. Especially at this uh, stage of the game. Well, is it actually? The move speed kind of makes stage 3 look accurate, because obviously monster move speed doesn't actually change, but you do get bigger, which is why you feel very slow at stage 3. When you get this at stage 3, you actually feel, you know, the same speed as you would be at that size, you know. Yeah, we're just filling it up at the moment, um, avoiding our pursuers, wherever they may be. I assume they're going to be over there somewhere at the moment, because they usually just follow your tracks unless you alert birds, and then they'll uh, investigate. So, get these bodies. I think that's the two bars I need, isn't it? Yes it is. Spike of anxiety there because I had a feeling they'd be right behind me, but it's fine. I think they're over there somewhere, they must be. We'll go and uh, grab the Evolve. Saw a pixel move over there, I think it might have been them. That's a clear line of sight as well, so they're going to be beelining over here. It's fine. I think that's them over there anyway. Yeah, it is. I can see Lennox. It's fine. One of the glorious things about Goldie, as I said at the beginning, with him being the fastest monster, if he's going to run away, he's going to do it, and there's nothing you can really do about it, because, as I say, stasis doesn't really uh, affect him. Unless you've got a Jack directly in front of him when he tries to run away. There's Jack's uh, tracking beacon. We are going to get in there now. Is that ability cooldowns? No. I don't think I have an angle here. Definitely don't with that, that was a really bad flick. This tree isn't destroyable. Yep, there it is. Quite a decent amount of synergy there. In fact, we are going to go for rank here. It's way too much of a good uh, vantage point. Actually get that off the tree. You go. Now we continue our work with Jack. He actually messed himself up there because that was going to miss. Good, we are going to get out because I've got no armour. Boop. 
These rain effects, dude. 2015 game, this, by the way. Still looks like it could have been released today. That was a waste of that. That's fine. We're not going to go for the Evolve just yet. We are going to fill the meter, but... Armor. Okay, you're managing to miss every bullet, that's fine. <laughs> uh, that's a shield, that's just not... <laughs> it's a bit redundant, to be honest. Hank's out positioned at the moment, so we can go harm on Jack here. We'll drop rocking. Good. Would like a strike on Roval. Let's well, not, because Jack's about to get up. Whoa! How did I manage to do that? <laughs> Just reverse jumped. That's pretty funny. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit more armor here and then we'll um, try and get a strike on Val. I don't know where Hank is though. So he's absent there. I think I just saw a glimpse of him then. Let's go a bit more. Yeah, he is there. Okay. We get Jack with that. Do you get that? Get me up. Shit. Mistimed. It's fine. Flame breath, please. Flame breath, please. I need to tag him. I think he went down. It's fine. I guess we're not getting Roval then. That's fine. We'll just we'll get the evolver. Uh, can I climb, please? Thank you. It's fine. We'll get a uh, power spike. Almost messed that up then. That's something you can't reverse. I'll do. So we are now fully grown. We're going to be doing a serious amount of damage. And we are now the reason the hunters are in business. <laughs> and, you know, they've just failed at the job basically because they're actually supposed to stop this from happening. And the reason why is going to be shown to you momentarily. Literally too fucking swall to move. There we go. The thing with orbital drills and a map as well is that this location is very bad for the hunters. They're gonna move outside here though, probably. Roval does have access to... there it is, thank you for demonstrating that. She can fully heal herself uh, once it goes on a bit of a cooldown. You kind of have to focus damage on her though, because she can do it more than once if you don't uh, burst her down quick enough. I can't remember whether that had the angle. I do have the angle, kind of. I was just going to say, there's a weird interaction with that. If it hits something, it carries on travelling, it's just invisible. <laughs> you know, animation. Nice. She is going to have a shield here, though, I think. Yeah. Because we are going to get another wave incoming. Messed the flick up on that. Charge up there, that was ridiculous. There we go. Down to half HP here. Hank and Jack are not going to do great progress though, because they're not 
really attack damage characters, he went up here. So he is trying to do what they're supposed to do in this situation. There he is. See your jetpack, lad. There. There he is. But yeah, in that situation, if your team's in a bad way like that, if your cloak can run off, it can actually get your team another wave. And it has happened with Pox, as I say, because I, I don't go for the relay finish most of the time. So, we do go for the team wipe. There is two ways the monster can win at stage 3. You either destroy the relay or kill all the hunters. But yeah, cloaking and running off like that's actually quite good in some instances because obviously you can bring your team back, your entire team, if you hide well enough. Which is why it's the bot's program to do that. It works sometimes as well. If you don't keep an eye on where support is. Well, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed. Apologies about the voice, but you know. It is what it is. I will hopefully see you for the next one. Bye.